What's going on? Those auroras are doorways to different times. Hi, everyone. It's Jack Martin, and I'm here to recap season two of NBC's La Brea. There's a lot to keep track of, so let's just jump right in. Get it. Once Gavin, Izzy, and Ella get to 10,000 BC, they run into some truly wild creatures like these two. Okay. Meanwhile, Josh and Riley did make it to 1988, and they quickly learn that every time a portal opens, so does a sinkhole. So they're getting bigger and more catastrophic by the minute. That does look like it could be a problem. But they start to work with Dr. Caroline Clark, who we learn is Gavin's mother, and help create Lazarus to make a virus that will stop the harmful time traveling technology. Um, hey, uh, don't we need time travel so that we have a show? You know who Isaiah is. He's my son. Back at the clearing, Eve, Sam, and Levi work to get answers from Silas about how to get Riley and Josh back from the 80s. But their plans are paused when the exiles kidnap Eve and Levi. Hmm, they seem fun. Once Gavin makes it to the clearing, he works to rescue Eve and Levi from the exiles, who apparently use the black rocks from their cave to power Lazarus, obviously. After they escape, a small group goes back to the exiles' cave to harvest the rocks. And did I mention Izzy and a few others get stuck in a hole with giant spiders? I really hate spiders. I know you do, honey, I know. Fun times. Oh, and while Gavin gets ready to deal with family drama, all this was going on. <laughs> It's never a quiet day in La Brea. So, then Gavin meets his dad, James. Why don't you tell me who you are? I am your father. Side note, he ends up not being in the running for Father of the Year, but we'll get to that. So James lets Gavin, Eve, Izzy, Levi, and Sam use the portal to get to 1988 and bring Josh and Riley back. Of course, it's not that simple, but the portal works and they bring everyone, including Caroline, back to 10,000 BC, except for Levi, who decides to stay in the 80s. Still with us? Great. Once they land, Caroline works to get the virus into the Lazarus system with Gavin's help. But Gavin aborts the mission after James convinces him that he's close to finding a way to stabilize the destructive portals. But is he? We can fix the machine and save your wife. Caroline is disappointed and recruits Riley to help her find her old partner, Dr. Moore, who's missing and might have answers on how to stop the sinkholes. Should be easy, right? You want me to keep this a secret until you know exactly what you're dealing with? Outside Lazarus, Lucas and Veronica grow closer than ever. Scott makes a few enemies, and Ty grapples with his sickness, but tells Pata he wants to marry her anyway. Okay. I think we should get married. <sighs> oh, speaking of love, Gavin becomes obsessed with keeping Eve safe after he has a vision about her dying under one of the red flower trees. Yikes. James agrees to help Ty cure his cancer in exchange for therapy sessions. That's a solid trade. Mental health, y'all. But Kira warns Ty about James' project Blue Moon. What is Project Blue Moon? and tells him not to trust James. But can Ty really trust Kira? Anyway, during their search, Caroline and Riley find more skeleton, ew, and important notes that will help them get home. Next, Levi shows up from the 90s, totally normal, and eventually shares that he got married, had a daughter, and lost them both while he was gone. <laughs> That's a lot to unpack there. But Levi isn't the only familiar face that returns. The exiles come back to the clearing with a vengeance and hold Scott hostage until Veronica helps them get the brown journal, her capturer, Aaron, left behind. Yeah, really takes digging up drama to a whole new level. After reading the pages in the journal, Veronica believes the notes are written in a code that has coordinates to help get everyone home. A book from 10,000 BC. That might be the key to getting us home, but They've got to find the portals first. And hey, it's not a party without a little action. Celebrations begin as Ty and Para get married, but the wedding ends abruptly when Caroline is found dead. Mom. And Kira kidnaps Ty for information on Project Blue Moon. A small group goes back to Lazarus to rescue Ty, but Levi has other plans and blows up the building in an attempt to kill James. Oh yeah, and before that happened, all the animals got loose and started attacking everyone inside. Look at this kitty! So, while that's happening, the rest of the gang back at the clearing decides to be safe with a little blowtorch action. But not everyone escapes the vicious attack, and Ella dies in order to save Veronica from the deadly stings. Sisterhood is a strong bond, guys. The group works to find a leader and settle into the land, and Veronica learns she's pregnant with Lucas's child. So sweet. But Lucas tells her he wants to stay in 10,000 BC, even if they find a way back home. The truth is, the closer we get to going home, the more I'm not sure it's what I want. You want to stay here? With saber tooths and no plumbing? Talk about a family torn between two worlds. 
A small group finally decides to find the portals from Moore's notes, and they meet some new faces along the way. After going into a cave on their journey, Gavin suddenly believes his vision of Eve dying under the red flower tree is about to come true, and he sacrifices himself for her. Imagine being that selfless. Gavin! And despite turning on them inside Lazarus, James agrees to help Eve and Izzy go through a portal to stop his son from dying. Now the plan works, but once they get back, Gavin's left with no choice but to shoot James, who's still trying to get to a place before Gavin was born, and reveals in his dying breath, are you ready for this? That Gavin has a sister. What? Tell your sister I'm sorry I failed. What are you talking about? Oh, and another big secret? Levi has a hidden Exiles tattoo that nobody knows about. I'm sure it's nothing, right? You can trust him. You really, you can. Hey, at least the Harris family is alive and finally together again. But nothing lasts forever. And season two ends with Eve getting stuck in a room and sucked into a portal nowhere to be found. Talk about a cliffhanger. Or a portal hanger? Anyway, thanks for jumping through time with me, you guys. We'll see you on the other side, somewhere. Is that a T-Rex?